and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about gut healing vegetable broth. Vegetable broth contains a rich source of important nutrition to help our body function optimally. It helps in nutrition absorption and increase our brain and body function. Homemade vegetable broth is a fantastic source of fibers and great way to help to manage our digestive system. So I'm, do, I'm doing that for my kids. In the morning, when they wake up, you can give them a little bit. You know why? Because when you wake, you're a little bit dehydrated. So you need flowing to, to make you feel better, to, to wake up your body gently. The broth is a wonderful filling snack that will also provide you with many healthy nutrition that will help to feel great. So I give you a simple vegetable broth. The kids, when my kids, they start the diet, they were very sensitive all with the texture. And if it was too tasty, they were spinning out. So we, when you start the vegetable broth, you have to be like very gentle for the spicy and uh, you don't need to put too much. And after more and more, when the healing start to be better and they start to be familiar with all the texture, uh, all, the, all the taste, you can add more and more things. So for example, today we're going to use the, the fennel, we're going to, to, to do uh, the onion, we're going to put some leafy green, you know, you can, you can choose your, the leafy green you like. So we can be spinach, me I'm doing the char because it's, it's a good antioxidant too. And uh, the celery, the same thing, it's, uh, it's a durate tick and it's an excellent uh, source of vitamin C and B6. The carrots, you know, is a beta carotene, vitamin A. And you know, so I'm going to, you, you can add some garlic, but if your kids, they don't like garlic, it's too tasty, just don't do it. I'm using the garlic because it's an anti parasite antimicrobial, and we know some kids have a gut problem, and sometimes they have a candida, and we're going to talk about most in other video. So I'm going, doing, put the garlic, and I'm doing, to the turmeric, so you can do, you can have the powder if you want. And the turmeric is anti-inflammatory too, so it's a good, it's very good for the gut too. And of course, the, the herbs. It's good to use herbs because give you uh, the property for anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial. So it's very good, so I use sage, I use oregano, I use thyme, and I use bay leaves. But you can use the herbs you have available. So you can put basilic, and uh, you can put uh, rosemary if you want. For me, I'm using that today. So the thing with the broth, you don't need to cut like preciously, you just cut and put in a pot just very, you don't need like to cut small. You just, for example, the onion, I just cut on two when it's finished. And you can, you can put salt if you want and pepper. But in the beginning, the pepper can irritate the guts. Uh, so, so maybe you can do that after when they feel better. So now we're going to cut the fennel. So you, you just need all the part, you know. You don't need to fold away all the parts, you just cut like that. So it's a little bit meaty, so it, it's, it has a good smell and it's good for the digestion too. And if, you, if, if you're pregnant and you, and you deliver the baby, it helps you to have more milk, so it's good too for the mother. So you just put like that. And, and it's good so and after you cut the the carrots 
So the, the carrot is good on vitamin A, beta carotene. And but you can you can um, you put four carrots or more if you want. It depends on your the taste of your kids. So you just cut like that. And you just put in a pot too. And the onion, so you two onions, so just cut cut boom. So the thing is with the broth. Uh, it's uh, it's it take a long time to uh, to cook, but we don't want to cook too fast because we need to to uh, to have all the nutrition. So when it's slow, like medium heat and slower, if you want, it keep all the the antioxidant, all the property, and it's good. If you go too fast, it's not good. So we cut the celery now, so we can do three. So with with the with the broth, when it cook, you can have some oil. So sometimes I use a coconut oil when it's in the morning, and I just put a a, tip, a teaspoon of oil for my kids. Just just uh, because the coconut oil, it's good for the gut because he has the property of the anti-parasite, so it's very good. So you can use the coconut oil too. So I use a char because the leafy green is always good for the anti-cancer, anti-tumor, and the leafy green is a good sort of, of oxidants and, uh, and it's good for your body. And now, we're going to do the, the garlic. So the garlic, you can, because it, we, we, we just want the, the nutrition. So you just cut like that and you can keep, you can keep the, the skin too. So you put, you put uh, four globs or less if you want, like that. We don't need to cut me a cutting to be sure they have all the nutrition. And for the turmeric too, like that, so it's very good. And after you put your bay leaves, you, you, you do four, so it's very good. And the oregano. So you can use a dry oregano, but sometimes it's good to have fresh herbs. So I do three, maybe a big branch is like that, you know, and you just put here and you you have uh, the sage too. So you just take a big branch like that. So you can go to your garden and choose the, the herbs you want because some herbs, they're very good for the body. So don't hesitate to research. So it's very, it's very good to research what kind of herb you can do for the broth. So I just give you the, the simple, the basic thing. Look, the broth, the vegetable. There's a lot of vegetables, so it's very good. And nutrition, and um, so you can use all the vegetables. So if you want, you can add more stuff if you want. The thing available in your, in your fridge. So, you don't need to saute the vegetable. You just put, you just pour the water and to cover the, the vegetable a little bit more to have more liquid. So you just pour the water until it's a little bit covered and like that, you see? And a little bit more if you want to have more liquid. So you just pour like that. And that heat. So now it's a vegetable broth. Enjoy it, and it's good for your kids. Even if it's difficult, even if some kids say don't like uh, broth or water, because in the beginning of the diet it was difficult for my kids because they were so addicted to the milk and sugary thing. 
and just, just drink water, they were screaming, but we didn't give up, so did, don't give up. And the other video, I'm going to tell you about how I switched my kids from the milk to water. It was tough, but we did it. So enjoy, make your broth once a week and drinking in the morning or afternoon or at night it's good for the digestion and you feel great and you have all the electrolyte all the mineral so enjoy it if you like my video click like and subscribe have a good day